Hello everyone, welcome to the series on multiple choice question answer explanation. In this series, subject wise, I will explain certain number of questions with answers. In this video, I will explain about pharmacology questions. Now, the first question is look at the question. Prolonged PR interval causes in ECG. Option 1 is tachycardia, option 2 is myocardial infraction, option 3 bradycardia, option 4 hypokalemia. Now, understand in ECG we have P wave, QRS wave and T wave are there. P wave indicates atrial depolarization that means atrial contraction. QRS wave indicates ventricular depolarization that means ventricular contraction. T waves indicates ventricular repolarization, relaxation. Now PR interval indicates the duration between atrial contraction and ventricular contraction. If PR interval is prolonged that means the time gap for these two is increased that means heart rate per minute is reduced. Why? Because these contractions are delayed. Reduced means bradycardia, decrease in heart rate. So PR prolongation causes bradycardia. Or PR shortening, it causes tachycardia, increase in heart rate. Myocardial infraction is death of myocardial tissue due to blockade of blood supply. Hypokalemia means reduced potassium level. Calium means potassium. So the answer for this prolonged PR interval causes bradycardia. Now let us go to the next question. The next question is Neprilysin inhibitor is example for Neprilysin inhibitor. Now understand Neprilysin is a endopeptidase enzyme. It metabolizes natriuretic peptides and bradykinin. Natriuretic peptide, understand the word. Chemically they are peptides and they cause natriuresis. Natrium means sodium, uresis means excrete sodium in the urine. So these peptide excrete sodium in the urine causes moderate level of diuresis and reduces blood pressure. Now the other one, Neprilysin also metabolizes bradycardin. Bradycardin causes vasodilation. So if you inhibit Neprilysin, sodium excretion will be there, vasodilation will be there and the agents are used to treat severe hypertension or congestive heart failure. Now Neprilysin inhibitor is Sacubitril. The drug is Sacubitril. Usually it is used along with Valsartan. Now the next drug, Levosimendan is a calcium sensitizer. The drug increases the sensitivity of troponin C in the cardiac muscle. So calcium sensitivity is increased and causes contractions which are used to treat congestive heart failure. Next drug, Neseritide is a recombinant natriuretic peptide. You know, in Drug Inspector uh, Chapter 2, there is a, a unit called as Sources of Drugs from Plant, Animal, Mineral and Recombinant. One. Recombinant DNA technology products are recombinant insulin is there and this Neseritide is there. Now, ranolazine is a sodium channel blocker at the heart which is used to treat angina pectoris. Let us move on to the other question. Third question, CCR5 receptor inhibitor is. Now, CCR5 receptor is known as co-receptor. It is present on T helper cell, CD4 helper cells. Now, virus gets into the CD4 cell with the help of two receptors. One, a direct receptor called as CD4 receptor. Another co-receptor is CCR5 receptor. Without this receptor, it cannot get inside the T cell. Now this receptor can be blocked by the drug Maraviroc. Look at the options. Indinavir, Nevirapine, Maraviroc, Doltigovir. Out of this CCR5 receptor inhibitor is Maraviroc. Now Indinavir is a protease inhibitor which is also used to treat HIV infection. Nevirapine, non uh, NR, NRTIs. Now reverse transcriptase inhibitor in that non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitor is Nevirapine. Now Doltigovir is an integrase enzyme inhibitor. Again see all these drugs are used to treat HIV infection. Doltrugivir inhibits integrase enzyme. Nevirapine inhibits reverse transcriptase enzyme. Indinavir inhibits protease inhibitor, protease enzyme inhibitor. Maravira blocks CCR5 receptor. Now the next question, look at the next question. Aromatase inhibitor used to treat breast cancer in postmenopausal women. Aromatase inhibitor generally. Now drugs are fulvestrant, anastrozole, nafarelin, tamoxifen. Now see, aromatase is an important enzyme which con converts androgens to estrogens. Usually it is very important in postmenopausal women because in postmenopausal women ovaries cannot give estrogens. So from the peripheral tissues, androgens are converted to estrogen with the help of this aromatase enzyme. If too much aromatase enzyme is there, too many estrogens will be there that may cause breast cancer. So to treat that, drugs like anastrozole, letrozole and eczemastain are used. So the option here is anastrozole. Fulvestran is, is called a SERD, SERD, Selective Estrogen Receptor Down Regulator. The drug down regulates all the estrogen receptors. Nepharelin, gosrelin or GnRH analogs, gonadotropic releasing hormone analogs. They desensitize gonadotropic hormones and overall follicle stimulating luteinizing hormones release is reduced. 
tamoxifone is ser selective estrogen receptor modifier in the breast it blocks estrogen receptors in the endometrial tissue it activates in, uh, uh, estrogen uh, receptors so that's why they are called as modulators now the last one norepinephrine is methylated by see norepinephrine all these things you will see in uh, uh, neurohumoral transmission when norepinephrine is synthesized it is metabolized by two enzymes monoamine oxidase and catecholomethyl transferase the question is about methylated by so comt methyl transferase methylates norepinephrine monoamine oxidase oxidizes the amine group whereas ACHE is acetylcholine esterase which, which metabolizes acetylcholine ACE is angiotensin converting enzyme is an enzyme required for angiotensin 2 production so here the answer is it is methylated by COMT catechol-O-methyl transferase thank you for watching this video all the best